Hi everyone, welcome to Learn and Play. Today, we're visiting the healers. We're going to say goodnight, Bluey and Bingo. We're going to help Dad with bath time. And then he's going to read a story to Bingo and Bluey. This is their bedtime routine. Do you have a bedtime routine? Having a bedtime routine helps us fall asleep faster and sleep better. Let's see what Bluey and Bingo are up to. Okay, okay, that's enough water. Dad! Girls, I brought the soap that you wanted. It's the yellow heart one. Yay, yay, that's the one that smells like pineapples. Okay, Bingo, don't hug all the soap. <laughs> I won't. Now, Bluey, Bingo, Mom really wants to relax tonight, so I'm going to take care of the bath, okay? So don't ask her for anything. Mom, Mom, I want that shampoo in the yellow bottle. Me too, me too. Oh, brother, didn't I just say, don't ask your mom for anything. I can help you. Now she's going to come up here and she'll be upset. Sorry, Dad. It's okay. Well, I see everyone's having a good time here. I brought the shampoo you wanted, girls. Ah, oh, Chili, I'm sorry they bothered you. I was going to take care of it. It's okay, honey. Don't worry about it. Ah, you're the best. Yay! Woohoo! Mom has the shampoo! Here you go, Bingo and Bluey. Make sure you don't give Dad a hard time, okay? I'm going to go get a snack. Have fun, Mom. Thanks, Chili. Now, girls, finish up. It's getting late. Oh, Dad, five more minutes, please. Bingo, stop splashing. It's getting in my eyes. Sorry, Bluey. Okay, girls, it's time to get out. I have your towel here. No, not yet. I have a very good story to tell you. Okay, Dad, okay, we'll get out. We'll get out now. Come on, Bingo, let's go. Ah, fine. These towels are so comfy and warm. I know, I love them. Bluey, Bluey, I want to go first. Can I go first? I'm going to race you. Okay, Bingo, go ahead. Hey, Bingo, don't fall asleep. Dad has to still come up and tell us his bedtime story. How? Huh, what? Oh, okay, okay, I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. Why don't we take a break while we wait for Dad? I wanted to know which bedtime story is your favorite. That's a good one. I like that one, too. Hmm, what's my favorite? I really love the Snow Queen. That one is a very good story. It's a fairy tale. Let's go back and see what's going on at the healer's house. Wow, it's the whole house. Hmm, it looks like mom got her snack. She has a cookie. And Dad is already in the bedroom. He started his story for Bingo and Bluey. Let's take a listen. Once upon a time, there lived a princess named Felicity. Each morning, she went out into the garden and watched birds and butterflies soar through the sky. She wondered how they didn't get tired quickly. One day, a bird had fallen from the tree and she realized that they do get tired and weak, just like everyone else. Felicity took time to help the bird get better. She brought him water and bird food, and she sang to him. The bird was not afraid of her and got better in just a few days. Felicity wished she could fly just like the bird and be free. She thought that would be more exciting than living in a palace and walking around the garden each morning by herself. To her surprise, the bird she rescued 
brought over his whole family to keep her company. From that day, she was excited to wake up each morning and see her bird friends. She loved to sing songs while the birds happily chirped in the garden. The end. Okay, girls, I love you so much. I hope you have a good night's sleep. The word good night starts with the letter G. So it's time to go to sleep. And then we'll wake up and it will be morning. <laughs> now it's the morning and it's time to have breakfast with Bluey. Are you so excited? Me too. Did you know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Yeah. That's the meal where you get all your energy. Mmm, I love breakfast. Let's see what Bluey's making for breakfast. Girls, girls, come on, come to the kitchen. As you know, it's Thursday. And it's Dad's birthday. Oh, wow, Bingo. Did you get him a birthday present? I don't even know what he wanted. Well, this is a pickle. Don't worry. I already started making breakfast. For real life, we're going to make brekkie together? Oh, wow. Let me go check. Are those eggs? I love eggs. I want some. I want some. Me too. Me too. Hold on, Bingo. The stove is hot. You have to be careful. You too, Bluey. Come here, Bingo. Come help me in the fridge. Okay. Here I am, Mom. Okay. As you girls know, Dad has a big appetite. He loves his eggs. We need to make more. Oh, that's easy. Okay, okay. Let's get more eggs. All right, Bingo. You can try, but I don't know if you could reach it. Oh, it's too high, Mom. It's too high. It's okay, Bingo. I can help you. Thanks, Bluey. Thanks for getting the eggs. I'm always here to help Bingo. That's what big sisters are for. Bingo, now, how does Dad like his eggs? How should I know? Mom, will you help us? Of course. Let me just close this fridge. It's been open for the longest time. Ugh, that's better. Are you girls ready? Bingo, you're sitting already? What do you have in your hand? I found some apricot jelly. I really want to have it later. Can we have it? Can we have it? I guess. Uh, just hold on to it and let's see later. Okay. All right, Bluey. We've got to make the eggs perfect for Dad because it's his birthday. So look at this. We move the eggs around. We want to make sure we don't burn it because then Dad's not going to be very happy. Oh, and I've seen Dad not happy with his eggs. Then he gets very grumpy. What can I say? He loves to eat. Hee <laughs> hee. I think the eggs are done now. Mom, Mom, do you think he's going to like them? Of course he is, girls. Woo! This is going to be awesome. If there's one thing I know about your dad, he's going to smell this food and come right down. We have to be ready to say happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Not yet, Bingo. Bluey, did you set the table outside? Yes, Mom. Good morning, everybody. I said good morning, everyone. What up, party people? Dad, Dad, it's your birthday today. Dad, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yes, happy birthday, Mr. Healer. Oh, wow, girls. This is so nice. You even made me breakfast and everything. Yeah, Dad, look, I even got some apricot jam. You know, Bingo, that's actually my favorite. I'm going to put it on my croissant. Yay, I'm so happy. Oh, I can't wait to try this breakfast. Well, here it is. Look, we've got all the eggs, your toast, your orange juice, and a croissant, your favorite. Wow, girls, this looks so good. Thanks, Dad. I even got my tea, and I'm going to bring your coffee over. We made it just how you like it, Dad. Oh, you two made it? Okay, let's see how it tastes. Don't worry, I think you'll like it. I'm sure I will. Now, Dad, be careful. Don't spill it. 
What makes you think I'm going to spill it? No reason. We just want to make sure you'll be okay on your birthday. Ah, uh, thanks. What would I do without you? Well, you definitely wouldn't have this delicious breakfast. Mom's right. I'm a lucky guy. Yeah, Dad, look at all this delicious food. I really hope you like it. Yeah, yeah, we put so much work into it. I still got the apricot jam. And I got your favorite cream-filled donut, Dad. What do you want to do after breakfast? Well, let's just enjoy it. Yeah, Chili, this is perfect. Now let's review some popular breakfast foods. First, we have eggs. Eggs come from chickens. Eggs are a great part of any breakfast. You can make eggs scrambled. You can make hard-boiled eggs. You can even make an omelet. I love making omelets with spinach and cheese. Now we have some granola with yogurt and topped with fruit. That's a very healthy breakfast. The fruit will keep you full for a long time. Oh wow, look at that. It's a smoothie made with fruit. It looks like it's made with almond milk and it has figs and blueberries. Yummy! Oh, those look like very delicious waffles. I love waffles. Those are topped with blackberries. Looks so good! Sometimes, when we're in a hurry, we like a quick breakfast like cereal and milk. This looks like a good one. Now we have a big breakfast. This is a whole table filled with various breakfast foods. What do you see? There's sausage and eggs. There's even some bacon and toast with jelly. I see yogurt with granola and fruit and even a bowl of fruit. I see orange juice and coffee. And what else? I think there's some rolls in the back. Great job. I love breakfast. I hope you do too. And I hope you stay tuned to watch Magenta and Blue learn colors. See you soon. Here they are. Today, we're going to learn the colors of the rainbow with Blue and Magenta and the little caterpillar. Did you know that Earth Day is on April 22nd? That's the day when we show Mother Nature how much we care about the Earth and all the animals and plants that live on it. Do you know some ways that you can help make the Earth a better place to live? Those are some great ideas. We can plant a tree or some flowers. We can even clean up the park together. Every little bit counts as long as we do it together. If we help each other, we can make the world a beautiful place to live. Look at all those happy kids. What are they standing on? It's a rainbow. Do you know what a rainbow is and how we get it? A rainbow is a colorful arc that happens when light hits water droplets. It usually appears after it rains. Let's go over the colors of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. Violet. Rainbow Caterpillar came to say hi. He's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Just like a rainbow. Check out all his feet. Wow, that's so many feet. Let's have him dance. Ooh, that was fast. Let's take off all the gears and then mix them all up. Let's sort the gears by color. Here's the orange one. 
Where is the orange circle? Is this it? Oh, oh, we missed it? Wait, we gotta go back? Here it is. Here's the orange circle. We're going to put it on. Perfect. What color do we have next? This is blue. Where's the blue circle? Is this it? Mm, that doesn't look like it. Hey, is, is this it? This is the one. This is the blue circle. Let's see what's next. Hmm. This one is violet. Let's find violet. No. No. No, that's not it. Here it is. Here's the violet circle. Let's put the violet gear on top. Nice. Look at it spin. Hmm. This one here is... It's green. Is this green? No. Is this green? No. Hmm. This one or this one? Yeah, that's the green one. Next, it's yellow. Where will the yellow one go? Is this yellow? Or is this yellow? Not this one. It's this one. Yeah. Spinning all around. And now, it's the red one with the happy face. It's the last one left. Let's put it here. This is so cool. Look at it. Oh no, blue and magenta need our help. Will you help them put this puzzle back together? You will? Great! Let's start with the house! This is blue and magenta's house. It has a red roof. Where does it go? Does it go here? No, I don't think it goes there. Does it go here on the side? No! There it goes, in that spot where the house is. There you go, good job. Now it's next to mailbox. Let's see what's next. We have Blue. She is blue and she has a clue on her paw. She's going to dance on the rainbow. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Should she stay on the rainbow? No. Blue is going to go in the spot where blue is. Yeah, that's it. There she goes. Okay, who's next? It's magenta. She's magenta. Kind of a pinkish purple. She wants to go on the rainbow too. Wee! Wee! All right, she's going to go in the magenta spot. Let's put her here. Perfect. We got magenta, the house, mailbox, and blue. Yay! Now, will you help us put the rainbow in order? Yeah? Okay. Which color should we choose first? Hmm, look at this one. This is orange. Where does orange go? There it is. This is orange. What's next? Hmm, I'm going to take the blue one. This is blue. Where does the blue one go? Hmm, there it is. The blue arc like blue. Now, let's take the yellow. This is yellow. Yellow goes after orange. There it is. Yellow. Looks so good. Next, I'm going to take the violet. This is violet. It goes after blue. 
Here it is. Fits just right. Hmm, red or green, red or green. Let's take the green. Green goes after yellow and before blue. There it is. Now we have one left. This is the red arc. It goes on the very top. Look at that, we got a rainbow. The rainbow appeared after it rained over blue and magenta's house. They came out to play. Why don't we try saying the colors backwards? Violet, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Good job. Wow, what shapes do you see? They are all circles. This one is a sphere. It's red. It's like a ball. So we have red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, light blue, dark blue, and violet. Just like a rainbow. Now let's have some fun. Let's stack them and move them all around. And why don't you shout out the color? Okay, let's go. Let's stack these in order. We have this wooden rod that we're going to stack them on. And then we have all our circle wheels and we're going to put them in order. You ready? First it's violet. Then we're going to have dark blue. Looking good. Now it's light blue. Good. Then it's going to be dark green. Light green. What's next? Yellow. Orange. And red. Look at that. That's the colors of the rainbow. Violet. Dark blue. Light blue. Dark green, light green, yellow, orange, and red. Good job. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you had fun. Don't forget to go outside for Earth Day. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for another episode. Today, Dr. Peppa Pig is going to visit us and Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. Oscar's not feeling very well. I hope we can help him feel better. Let's see what the letter of the day is. The letter of the day is... D. That's the letter D. D is for doctor. Why don't we see if Dr. Peppa Pig can help Oscar the Grouch? Hmm, it's a lovely day today. Who is my first patient? Hi, Peppa. Hi, Peppa Pig. It's me, Oscar the Grouch. I must have eaten some bad trash because my tummy is hurting. It's hurting real bad. Oh, 
well, Oscar, we're going to have to do a little checkup. Let's check what your heart sounds like. I will use the stethoscope to check your heart. Eh, okay. Oh, well, Oscar, your heart sounds good. It's good. We're going to check a few more things. Well, doctor, you know, I was a little scared to come here. But I'm here already, so we might as well check everything and make sure I can get better. Well, that's a good idea. Now, Dr. Peppa Pig will take Oscar's blood pressure with the blood pressure cuff. She's going to put it on his left arm. Oh, well, Oscar, this looks good. Your blood pressure is fine. Oh, well, that's good news. Okay, well, now I will take your temperature. Say ah. Ah. You seem a little grouchy. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it's a little high, but not too bad. It's only 101, so we will wait for it to go down naturally. Now, Dr. Peppa Pig will use an otoscope to look in Oscar's eyes and ears. Oh, well, Oscar, your eyes look good. Let's see your ears. Hmm... That's okay. Do you clean your ears, Oscar? Well, sometimes. Well, I need you to clean your ears regularly. Oh, okay, I will try. Now the doctor will use a laryngoscope to look in Oscar's mouth and throat. It's a little mirror. Let's see. Oh, well, Oscar... Your throat looks red. It must be all that trash you've been eating. You really need to take a look at what you're eating and eat healthy fruits and vegetables. But I love trash. Anything dirty and dingy and dusty, anything ragged and rotten and rusty, I just love trash. Uh, well, Oscar... You should eat food. Don't you like food that's fresh and cooked? Nah, oh nah, I like trash. Anything anyone throws away. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to give you the flu shot. You need the flu shot to make sure you stay healthy. Oh, Oscar, where are you going? Oh, I'm scared of the shots. Oscar, it's okay. It will only hurt for one minute. Oh, okay, fine. See, Oscar, nothing to it. One, two, three. Now I'm going to put this Band-Aid on you. The Band-Aid is yellow. Oscar, this medicine will help your tummy. It'll make you feel better. Take it when you need it. And once your tummy feels better, you could stop taking it. Okay, doctor, thank you for helping me. I'm sure I'll be much better now. It really wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. See you next time, Dr. Peppa Pig. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Oscar. I hope you feel better. 
Oscar wasn't feeling very well, so he went to visit Dr. Peppa Pig, and now he feels so much better. The doctor will help you whenever you're feeling sick. There's no need to be afraid, so make sure to get your checkup and visit the doctor whenever you're not feeling well. Remember that the letter of the day is D. D is for doctor. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye!